या हेलो चिल्ड्रन मेरे प्यारे बच्चों आज का लेक्चर पोटेंशियल एनर्जी एंड काइनेटिक एनर्जी या डू यू हैव एनर्जी यस सर वी हैव एनर्जी टू रिजन योर क्लास ओके चलो लेट अस डिस्कस पोटेंशियल एनर्जी एंड काइनेटिक एनर्जी सो दैट फर्स्ट टॉपिक इज पोटेंशियल एनर्जी पोटेंशियल एनर्जी पोटेंशियल एनर्जी मीन्स एनर्जी पोजेस्ड बाई एन ऑब्जेक्ट्स वेन दे आर बीन रेज फ्रॉम द ग्राउंड इट इज कॉल्ड पोटेंशियल एनर्जी बाय द वर्चू ऑफ इट्स पोजिशन और कॉन्फिगरेशन वेन दे आर बीन रेज फ्रॉम द ग्राउंड वी आर कॉलिंग दैस पोटेंशियल एनर्जी सो एनर्जी पोजेस्ड बाय ए बॉडी बाय इट्स वर्चू ऑफ its position or configuration by the virtue of its position or configuration we are calling it as a potential energy let us discuss about this position a raised hammer will have potential energy a raised stone from the surface of the earth has potential energy Water stored in a reservoir at a higher altitude from the surface of the earth. Water stored will have potential energy. When they are being released, they will jump. So they have potential energy. <coughs> a bird sitting on a tree, it is a height from the ground. It has energy. Now let us discuss about the configuration. Configuration means a change of shape. A change of shape we are calling as a configuration. A statue sitting in a bow. Has potential energy. The sting has potential energy when you stretch it from the bow. So it will have very stiff. It has potential energy. Ready? Potential energy is ready in that. A compressed spring in a toy. Yeah, because of the change in the change in the size, it is being compressed. When you give the chabi to your toy and release on the floor, it starts moving. So the compressed spring. There is a change in the shape. Configuration is a change in the shape. The compressed spring in the toy has potential energy. A stretched string, sorry, a stretched spring when it is being placed in the cycle bell. You remove the cycle bell and see inside there is a stretched spring is there. Yeah, it is being stretched. It has potential energy. A compressed spring in a wall clock. पुराना जमाने में wall clock था उसको चाबी देना है. चाबी दे दे तो शायद it will work for seven days. Nowadays we are using all cells latest. So the old and old is gold. So it has compressed spring. When you compress this, there is a shape that the spring is been compressed and it goes on releasing for seven days. So the compressed spring will have potential energy because of this configuration. Now let us see the proof of this uh, potential energy. Consider a stone on the surface of mass m. It has been raised to a height from the surface of the earth. It has been raised to a height. So the distance it has been raised from the surface. Let us take that as s is equal to h. Distance raised because of when it has been raised, the force of the gravity is acting in the downward direction. That is the weight of the body. The force it is acting in the downward direction. It is f is equal to mg. Now the force is acting in this direction. And displacement raised is in this direction, so there exists an angle theta is equal to 180 degrees. Theta is equal to 180 degrees. The work done by the body. What is the work done by the body? It is force into displacement. F dot s cos theta. Okay. So here cos theta. Cos theta is 180 minus 1. So the work done by the body is negative here because of it has been raised from the ground. So first of all consider. A body of mass m raised to a height h, raised to a height h from the surface, from the surface, surface of the earth. It is raised to a height h from the surface of the earth. Now the work done by the body is what? It is 
f dot s cos theta. So theta is 180 degrees. The work done by the body is f dot s cos 180 is minus 1. Theta is 180 degrees here, minus 1. So the work done by the body is negative here. We know that f is equal to mg. F is equal to mg. Where g is negative when it has been raised away from the ground. The acceleration of the body possessed the negative acceleration is there when it is been raising to a height acceleration is negative so negative acceleration negative and when you substitute here work done by the body is equal to mg into s and minus 1 so here acceleration is negative displacement of the body it is been taken up and force is in the down the value we got as negative so negative and negative here negative here negative is positive so the work done by the body is m g s is equal how much here we are taking h h we are taking m g h so the work is stored in the body when it has been raised away from the ground the work is stored in the body so this amount of work when you have been raising is stored as in the form of energy that energy we are calling as a potential energy so potential energy is equal to m g h m g h so this potential energy units are same as that of the work so joule is the unit for potential energy or energy that is same as the work and uh, another unit is arg in cesar system we call it as a arg and in mk system or in si system we are calling it as joule okay that is the energy is measured in terms of joules this potential energy depends upon the height how much height you are raising the body that much of potential energy will be increased so as the height is going on changing the potential energy also changes potential energy depends upon height gravity is constant 9.8 meter per second square mass of the body size will not change as you are lifting it will not be converted okay that a small piece of matter will not goes on changes as you are taking away from the surface mass constant gravity 9.8 meter per second square constant so when you are raising the to a heights different heights at different heights will have different uh, potential <laughs> energies will be there okay the children so as it goes on increasing the potential energy goes on increases so this is the potential energy derivations once you go just take a screenshot okay then now we are going to discuss about the kinetic energy so kinetic energy means energy possessed by the body because of its motion so when the body is in motion it has kinetic energy when the body is in motion we have kinetic energy so examples of kinetic energy a moving body all vehicles when they have been moving on the road they have kinetic energy flowing water in a river has kinetic energy flowing water in a river has kinetic energy a arrow released from a bow a released arrow will have kinetic energy a stone released from a catapult has kinetic energy it can break the uh, glass that much of speed it goes when you keep the bullet in the pocket nothing will happen but the same bullet when it comes and hit you it can kill the person so the speed of the bullet has energy that is kinetic energy so moving objects will have energy moving objects means sir ghar mein high speed wind blows because of that doors and windows they shuttles they started making noise so that is energy of the moving wind we are calling as kinetic energy a moving wind has kinetic energy so it can even rotates the turbines of the wheels when they have been mounted on the higher altitudes when you go to tirupati or hill stations there will be fan the fan goes on moving so they have kinetic energy because of the moving wind possess kinetic energy the sum of the kinetic energy and potential energy together is called mechanical energy a flying airplane will have mechanical energy it has both kinetic energy and potential energy because of the height from the ground potential energy because of its motion kinetic energy a flying bird has mechanical energy a fan moving a ceiling fan when it is in motion has mechanical energy these are all the examples of kinetic energy so let us discuss about the kinetic energy kinetic energy 
the units of kinetic energy same as that of the work so the energy possessed by a body the energy possessed by a body by the virtue of its its motion by the state of its motion virtue means state position by the state of its motion by the virtue of its motion is called kinetic energy is called as kinetic energy you know the formula for kinetic energy half mv square let us prove the kinetic energy half mv square yeah we have to consider a mass consider a body we have to consider a body of mass m is applied by a constant force we are applying a constant force so let us see a constant force is acting on it now you are taking a block you are a block of mass you are taking you are applying a constant force so it is moving with the initial velocity let us take v is the initial velocity you are applying a constant force so that it is moving with a initial velocity v constant force so a consider a block of mass m is applied by a constant force it moves with a it moves with a initial velocity initial velocity how much v so let us consider that v is the initial velocity it is moving with a initial velocity now you are applying a force here on the block so it will travel yes distance it will travel yes distance after traveling s distance you are applying an opposite equal force you are applying an opposite equal force on this a equal force is been then it starts retarding it is a speed is been reduced so it starts retarding it starts retarding and comes to rest final velocity becomes zero its final velocity becomes zero because of the applied force there is an acceleration goes on decreasing the decreasing acceleration is called retarding the body retards because of the applied force opposite force the body goes on retards so it has negative acceleration acting on the body is minus v square by 2s so from the equation of motion we have v square minus u square is equal to 2as here the final velocity of the body is zero so zero square minus initial velocity of the body is v v square is equal to 2 as so the displacement of the body the acceleration of the body is equal to minus v square by 2 s is the acceleration of the body because of the opposite force acting on the body the body starts retarding so the retardation is we can take that the body velocity is decreasing slowly and come to rest now <coughs> the force applied here Here we are applying the force now because of that force. So the force applied here is equal to this mass into its acceleration, retardation. So mass of the body and its retardation v square by two s. This m v square by two s. The opposite force acting on the body is minus m v square by two s. Here minus sign indicates opposite force. Now <coughs> we know that uh, Newton's. We know that there is a Newton's third law. For every action, there is equal and opposite reaction. There is an action, there is a reaction. When there is a applied force, there is an opposite force. They are equal. They are equal. That is why the body is been brought to stop. So Newton's third law, according to Newton's third law of motion. So F1 first force is equal to minus F2 second force. Yeah, we are calling this as F2 force. This is F1 force. So the force is in this direction F1, and the force opposite force is acting in the opposite direction is F2. So I am taking it as this one as F2 force, opposite force. Okay. So F1 is equal to minus of F2 force is how much? Minus m v square by 2s. M v square by 2s. So minus minus get cancel. So the applied force is equal to m v square by 2s. M v square by 2s. 
now because of this uh, f1 force applied force the body is doing some work because of the applied force what it is happening the body is changing its position there is a displacement produced because of the applied force so that uh, the work done by the body the body is doing some work the work done by the body because of the applied force w is equal to f into s f into s so because of the first force applied force the body is doing some work so work done by the body is equal to that is how much we got m v square by 2s into s so s is get cancelled so the work done by the body is half m v square this is told the work is told in the form of energy that is kinetic energy of the body this is the kinetic energy of the body is stored m v square so half m v square is the we have seen that it is the work stored work is stored in the form of energy that energy we are calling as a kinetic energy the energy possessed by the body because of its motion so the kinetic energy depends upon the speed of the body the kinetic energy depends upon the speed of the body but not mass mass remains constant mass if you apply the flows mass goes on doesn't goes on changes speed goes on changes so the kinetic energy purely depends upon the speed of the body by using this formula we can do several several number of numericals okay children so the kinetic energy is half mv square m is the mass of the body and v is the speed of the body okay kinetic energy purely depends upon the speed of the body okay just make a screenshot